Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Today's reading is going to be a love message. We're going to take a look and see what the cards are predicting for you right now. It is going to be a general reading, so please keep that in mind. If you are interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email is going to be listed below the video. At the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles and I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is a reminder to uh, maybe take better care of yourself to just show yourself a little bit more kindness a little more compassion and just give yourself a little bit more time show yourself a little bit more patience with where you are right now okay where you are may not be where you want to be okay maybe you saw yourself at a different place maybe you saw yourself at a different stage or maybe you saw yourself with you know in a relationship by now if you're single or with someone else or with someone specific um just realize that things are working out for you but also take the time to appreciate where you're at and just be patient with where you are because you are growing you are evolving and you are becoming the person that you're destined to be but it takes time Okay, it takes time. The Ten of Swords is the ending of a difficult emotional period for you. Something that has caused you a lot of pain, something that has been a hindrance, um, something that has felt like a sting, a rejection, or a betrayal, um, something that you, something that made you feel as though this is it, this is emotional rock bottom. It you know it can't get any worse. Um, well, you're right in a way because it, whatever this was felt like emotional rock bottom, um, and it's getting better. Okay, when there's no way, when there's nowhere to go, the only way is up from here. So things are going to get better, as indicated in the cards here. And this is the ending. Okay, you're at the tail end of this difficult situation. You're you're coming out of this storm, this storm that you've endured, whether it's a metaphorical storm or whether you've experienced you know like a inner storm of some sort this is coming to an end and you're coming out of it and the person that you know like the person that you've come out of it is the person that has grown through all of this pain and all of this turbulence you're not the same person as you were coming into this storm so um, you know be gentle with yourself the sun that rises here and breaks through the dark clouds is also um it's like a renewal okay and it gives hope i feel like the sun is what lines the sky with hope here so stay hopeful stay positive because things are going to get better even if it doesn't seem like it from this vantage point or even if it doesn't feel like it the cards are strongly indicating that things are about to get better for you there is a shift in the energies and you know there's there's a lot of good times ahead there's bright times ahead it can't stay like this forever right so you are at the tail end of whatever this is um it's the dust on this thing is settling and you're coming out of it and this is like a chapter you can put behind so definitely signaling the ending of an emotionally difficult period from for you it can be in relation to love and romance it can be something financial um, it can be something you know personal that you're going through um but i feel like you've endured the worst of it is what i'm getting the Empress energy, I feel like this is the energy that you're stepping into. Um, I just feel like, I feel like you're becoming a newer version of yourself. But this version of yourself is a lot more comfortable with who you are and the way that you dress and the way that you carry yourself and the way that you style, you know, your hair or just, I feel like you're becoming a lot more comfortable in your own skin. In fact, I feel like you're radiating this wonderful energy. And as a result, people appreciate 
and tend to gravitate to people who are comfortable in their own skin, people who are confident just being themselves. So you'll notice that you're attracting a lot more admirers or attention and I feel like you're also attracting a lot of uh, different things into your life as well. So it's not just like you're, you're attracting, um, you know, attention or just admirers, but I feel like you'll notice that you'll be attracting a lot of luck or a lot of opportunities, um, just a lot of the good stuff as well. And I do think that you'll see that people are really respect, uh, re receptive to your energy. Now, I just want to warn you, because with the Seven of Chalices, some of the things which are showing up or bound to show up in your life really soon, they're not all, I mean, they're not all going to be good things. Um, some of them are going to be wonderful, but some of them, if we take a closer look at the Chalices, now, they don't all bear desirable gifts, right? Some of them have shadows and monsters um, and unpleasantries in them, so... I guess this card is, it serves as a reminder, it's a bit of a caution to look past the glistening allure of illusion. So you could have someone show up in your life, right? And this person at face value may be everything that you've ever wanted. But when you get to know this person, you'll find maybe they don't have the best intentions. Maybe you guys just don't align and you're not as compatible emotionally or mentally as you initially thought. So this is a card that is asking you, is cautioning you rather, to look past the glistening allure of illusions because some things, although they appear great and wonderful at first, um, you know, once they come out of that shiny uh, packaging, they're not so wonderful, right? Um, so once again, look past the glistening allure of illusion. Um, it's also like shiny object syndrome as well. So make sure that you know you make sure that you're not tempted by illusions because there are some things that I feel like and they can come in different forms they can be opportunities they can be career related it can be you know with regards to love and relationships and romance um, not everything that comes your way here is going to be wonderful or is going to be a fit for you. So you have to be judicious. You have to use your judgment, your discretion and look past that glistening allure of illusion because that is what's going to get you. That's what's going to get you and trip you up because this they're, all, they're going to come wrapped in wonderfully shiny packaging but what's inside it it's not all that it's cracked up to be basically queen of wands is your energy and i truly think this is the energy that you're embracing i feel like you're coming across a lot more assertive a lot more confident i think it has to do with the fact that you're more confident with yourself you're more confident in your skin and i think that you're close you're more closely aligning with the person that you're you want to become i feel like you have a vision and some of you i even feel like you're starting to you might not be the person just yet but you have a really um, strong vision of who you want to become and you're starting to act the part. You're starting to play the role of your, you know, the, the person that you want to become now, not in the future, but now, right? So definitely your energy. And again, I feel like people are really noticing you. I don't know if it's something that you're doing different lately. Um, it just could be the energy and the uh, aura that you, and the warmth that you're projecting. But people are certainly gravitating towards you. People are certainly uh, responding to you. I also I also feel like you're going to be getting a lot more like romantic attention. Um, so a lot more like romantic suitors, admirers. Um, a lot, yes, they're giving a lot more attention. But it's all eyes on you kind of energy. Now, Ten of Cups is this idyllic scene. This is happiness. This is joy. This is bliss. This is fulfillment. This is what you want. This is where you want to be. And this is what's coming your way, this Ten of Cups, this picture-perfect scene that you want to be in. And guess what? You're smack bang in the middle of it. 
um, this is an energy of alignment. I feel like you are aligning with the vision of yourself that you want to become. You are aligning yourself with the vision of the life that you want to have, the ideal relationship you want to be in, you know, the person that you want to become. This is your vision manifesting into reality, your visions becoming uh, tangible. So I feel like you're going to be very happy, especially in a relationship. If you're single now, I feel like it's not going to be long until you're in this loving, wonderful, supportive um, relationship. Um, if you, you know, if this is a career opportunity, I feel like it won't be long before you attract this opportunity into your life. Whatever this is, I feel like you're elated. You're elated. You're very happy to be here. You're very happy to be in this space, in this energy, with this, in sharing this with whoever it is that you're sharing it with. So a wonderful energy, Ten of Cups. And it does come after the storm because some of you are this, uh, experiencing some sort of storm. And the rainbow comes after a storm, right? So I feel like you've been through the hard stuff, you've been through the difficult stuff, and you're going to get your rainbow at the end of a storm. If this is uh, talking about a relationship, then I feel like if you're experiencing challenges in your relationship now, things are going to get better, things are going to get so much better. In fact, you're going to reach a, a, a phase, a level in the relationship where you're really happy, where things are just working themselves out, you're in a better place. You could be moving in together, buying a home, settling down, getting married, building a family, um, working together. This is this is coming together very nicely, whatever it is. It's all working out for you. In fact, everything that's happening now is working out for you. It's working out in your favor, even if it doesn't quite feel like it. And you've got the Ace of Wands. I really feel like you've got a new opportunity that you're attracting and that you're manifesting. And because it's sprouting wands, there is growth and there's manifestation with this opportunity. This could indicate a new beginning in romance and relationships. You might be attracting a new energy, someone whom is very attractive, someone whom is going to bring a lot of excitement and joy and happiness into your life, someone whom is going to spark a fire like this person is going to feel an instant shift in their energy they're going to feel an energy a spark or a chemistry they feel a shift in the energy as soon as they meet you if this is someone that you've already met then this person feels a shift in their energy since the day that they've met you okay this is someone who is i feel like this is someone who's ready to move into the next phase of a connection with you if you're in an existing relationship this is someone who wants to build on what you have they're ready to move things forward and i think that this relationship is only growing you know feelings are growing um, and they're getting uh, stronger you know this person is able to see themselves in this relationship they're able to see this relationship long term they have visions if this is a career opportunity, I definitely feel like this is something that aligns with you. I feel like this is the soul's purpose. I feel like this is something that lights you up from the inside out. So whether it's love and romance, whether it's career opportunity or it's something else that you're chasing, I feel like you're being lit up here. I feel like this is something that you're really passionate about, that you... I feel like the best way to describe it is, yeah, you are lit up. You are lit up with joy. You are lit, lit up with enthusiasm and gratitude for whatever this is. You're really happy for this energy of abundance. You're really happy for this new beginning. You're really happy for this person that you've attracted or reattracting into your life. I feel like you're really happy with the way things are about to work out. And because it's your energy, I do think you're ready to seize the opportunity. I definitely feel like you're ready to you know, take advantage of whatever this is. I feel like you're ready. You are ready and I feel like you know you're ready as well. You feel it, right? 
all right guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now